have my first pickup of today leaving just finished getting loaded and now I am taking my trailer to the Stockton yard where I will drop and hook it and hook up to an empty and then head off to Bakersfield California yay with the tandem slid I'm gonna slide them back close the door put my seal on right here and then she's rolling okay, so I'm back at the Stockton yard I'm about to drop the trailer from the load I picked up in Lodi and hooking up not that orange pumpkin but that one Hooked up to my orange pumpkin pre-trip and we are ready to rock and roll to Bakersfield California It'll probably be dark by the time I get back here, but hey, that's trucking. Okay, guys, I've got about 62 more miles to get to Bakersfield. I've just been driving nonstop. Pretty soon I'll stop and take a quick coffee break, potty break, and continue on my trip. I'm tired. I don't know why. It's just, I think it's this drive. Sometimes it could be really boring. There's other times when I'm so excited to drive, it's ridiculous. It doesn't even matter how far I'm going. But today I am a little bit draggy. But I'm making good time. Uh, I should be coming into Bakersfield around 1 p.m. And all I'm going to be doing there is a drop and hook at that second location I showed you all in Bakersfield um, last week. I just wanted to say while I'm driving here that um, I'm really happy that more and more women are starting to contact me both on Facebook and on YouTube. It just does my heart so good to know that you feel confident enough to come to me with your questions and I take them you know give me a minute but I'll get back to you on whatever you're asking me and if I can help you I will if not I'll try to direct you to the right person but I'm so happy for all of you who are starting to make the decision to become a class A driver I mean it really is one of those jobs that you love and hate at the same time but if you're looking for something different something to get you somewhat established in life this is a great career choice you can make a decent amount of money here as I've said it before in other videos well, this is really shaky but I've said it before that um, you know truck driving has been good to me that's why I'm still doing it people I do it not only because I love it but the pay is just it's nice and you know if if you're a young woman like I've had somebody recently contact me who's in her early 20s and she just got her permit you know who I'm talking about because you just contacted me but um it, it's it's just gratifying to start your career and if you don't have kids it's a lot easier if you have children it's challenging but you can overcome that challenge and so I just want to keep you all encouraged you know there's times when you're gonna love this industry and there's times when you're really gonna hate it and that's just the real real truth you'll find that in pretty much any career that you go into unless you're just obsessed with that particular career you know there's nothing that can deter you from it but in trucking you have your good days and bad days I try to post all that for you guys so that you see the real truth of what this local truck driving mother has to go through it's real so just stay encouraged even if you get into it and you go through some challenges hang in there because I promise you it'll balance itself out don't give up before you have a chance to really get started okay that's my tip and advice for today ladies to keep in mind gentlemen too who are you know thinking about coming into this industry this is not like any other job 
you've ever worked. So if you're expecting that nine to five experience, don't be delusional. Some days you'll work eight hours, some days you'll work 10 to 12, and some days you'll push it all the way up to 13, 14 hours. I wouldn't advise it, but I'm just saying this is not your typical career. So don't come into it with an attitude that, well, I'm only going to work between this time and that time because there's varied schedules for truckers. Over-the-road truckers can drive all night, all day. Um, local drivers, you have your AM shift, you have graveyard, and you have swing shift. I personally like to start early so I can just get it done and go home at the end of the night as a local driver. But when I decide to go um, into different states, hey, it'll be what it is. And so I just want you to keep that in mind because this is not like anything you've ever done. You know, my husband is still trying to get used to how I work every single day. He's, you know, his, his job is different from mine. He has pretty much almost a set schedule every day. Mine, it's like my schedule changes every day. One day I could start at 3 a.m., the next day it's 5, 6, or 7 a.m., you know, so changes a lot here, and um, you never really get used to it, you just cope, and you do what you gotta do, that's why you gotta make sure you get plenty of sleep when you do lay down to take that rest, whether it's during the night or during the day, get your rest, people, because you will need it for this industry, driving is difficult. Staying alert is difficult, but you can do it, all right? also quite serious so you got to take it that way All right, she is arrived here at my stop in Bakersfield over to the left and uh, we'll see where I end up dropping my trailer today they've moved some things now right now for the person who was concerned about me holding my uh, camera I usually have it mounted right there 
right now I'm holding it because I was coming to a stop. Just wanted to be clear. All right, guys, I'm heading over to the office. Okay, guys, I just dropped my empty. About to pick up my loaded trailer here at Pactive in Bakersfield. I already got my trailer number. It's on my paperwork. Plus, they tell you at the shipping office. So I am picking up this Elko trailer right here. And there's the one that I dropped. Bye, Orange Pumpkin. So sorry to see you leaving. No, really, I am. That's actually a decent one. I just don't like the color. I'm not a Schneider driver. If I was a Schneider, then I wouldn't mind having the pumpkin, but I'm not a Schneider. It makes me feel awkward when those Schneider drivers come flying up behind me only to find out, sorry, it's an Elko trailer. Awkward. I can see that my trailer is too high for me to back under it. So now I'm going to have to roll down the landing gear. Let me just show you guys. All right. See that gap there between my trailer and my fifth wheel? That shouldn't be. So I'm going to have to come over here to my landing gear, let it down some. There's still a gap, so I'm going to have to lower it a little bit more. You want that fifth wheel in the trailer to touch before you back under. Closer look, you can see there's no more gap. It's safe for me to now back up to that kingpin right there. Lock it in, set my airlines, let up my landing gear, and she can roll. Because right now, nothing's connected. Now, I'm all connected to my trailer. Pick up my airlines, my electrical lines, and I'm done. Electrical lines hooked up. Now we come up over here to the landing gear, let that up, and do my walk around. And she's out of here to Modesto, California. Up. Go back here. Check your tires. Make sure there's nothing in between there. Make sure that lever is set. Jaws are locked. Same thing here. I don't use a tire thumper when I'm thumping my tires because I know what it feels like when it's going flat. As you saw in one of my previous videos, all my lights are working. Trailer sealed, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And it's a wrap. I also like to take note of any scratches or anything like that on the trailer. I'll write it down in my little book. That way, no one can say D did it. <laughs> 